Hello, and welcome back to the Kyle Davis Show. Yeah, it's dark tonight. Uh, funny on the obvious. Ha ha ha. But the point is to talk more about politics, right? <laughs> I don't know. Is it? We'll see. So, in this video, I'd like to talk about the Colin Kaepernick issue. So, it was during the 4th of July that Nike, I don't know if they asked if they were going to or what, but they said that they were going to or wanted to do a Betsy Ross flag shoot. The new Nike Air Force One or whatever it is. I don't know, I'm not really a huge fan of Nike doing it, so I don't know. But anyway, they were saying that they were going to put the Betsy Ross flag on the back of the shoe. No big deal. Until Capernet said, um, no. That flag represents slavery and racism and overall basically said it's un-American. And, uh, Nike said, okay, we're not going to do it anymore. Which I think is absolutely a terrible idea. It was, it would have been a fantastic way to honor the beginning of America. That flag does not represent slavery. It represents the, the completion of the unification of America. We are a country that was not founded on immigrants. Sure, we had immigrants from other countries, or we had uh, there were there were people from England who were over in America, but I don't know if it was founded on immigrants because the people who were already here were here under rule of England. And so it was like an extension of England. It was it would be like saying America is overpopulated, so we're gonna go inhabit this other territory because we need more space. It's England saying we're overpopulated, so or, you know, these other people can go live over here because we don't have enough room or they want to or you know whatever. No big deal. So it's not really immigrants, but they took on immigrants after they took on I don't remember how it worked. Essentially the flag represents the unification of a new country. It has nothing really to do well I mean it has something to do with other immigrants but the point of it is not that it was founded on immigrants it was founded on people who were sick and tired of England America did not say or the, the founding fathers did not say hey let's make an Ameri let, let's make a new country and We'll build them the backs of slaves. Like, I don't think any founding father believed that. I 
And in fact, Kaepernick quoted Frederick Douglass in his in, in a tweet that basically was saying that America was founded on immigrants. Or no, ain't yeah, in, we'll, 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 that America was founded on slaves. When in fact, if you actually do some digging, Frederick Douglass himself was a slave and escaped slavery. He was a black man and a advocator for against slavery. And I think that it should be also worth noting that during the uh, Civil War, there were lots of black people, lots of black men, who stood up for the values of America, and who stood up for the who stood up for um, for what the for the for the Constitution and for what America was for and what it believed in. And so I think it's it's sickening that Nike would pull the Betsy Ross flag from the shoe. And it okay, it's just a shoe, it's just whatever, but it's, it's not the product, it's the principle, it's the ideal that we are going off of someone so idiotic, so stupid, who believes that this flag represents slavery, when in fact it represents freedom and the beginning of the United States. He is able to do what he's doing because of America. And I think the other issue is that the left is trying so hard to bring back all these issues of the past. Yes, there was slavery. Yes, there was racism. There's no slavery like there was when it happened. That is completely illegal. It's not legal to own slaves. It's not legal to to do that kind of thing. Yes, it, slavery still happens in the form of human trafficking and whatever else, but not as we see it to it, it, it doesn't happen like it happened publicly. And so the left is, again, is trying so hard to peg the problems of America on the past, such as slavery and racism. And they're trying to get reparations for it? How's that even going to work? Because how are you going to pay reparations for things that happen when those people are dead? Like, I'm not saying, you know, we should ignore it, but at the same time, who are you going to pay reparations to? Because a lot of the problems presently that black people face, and not just black people, white people, everyone face, does not stem from the slavery that happened. We are in America where if you really try, you can get yourself out of debt. You can get yourself up if you know how to manage your money well, if you know how to uh, spend your time wisely, if you know what you're doing, you can. And there are people who don't know what they're doing. And I think we need to concentrate more on helping people who don't know what they're doing than try to demand money for slavery. Because just throwing money at the problem never solves anything. Ever. And then so what? If hypothetically reparations do happen, so what? 
we just ignore the fact that slavery ever happened then? Be like, oh, okay, now the problem's me. That is cool. That is cool. Anyway, I was just going to say that slavery never happened then? Like, what's the deal on that? Uh, I think I took a long time. Oh, well. Where's that going to take me? Eh, that's not a problem. <clears throat> so, what are we going to do? Just say... Okay, I'm moving on from that. Um, yeah, I, I don't know. I don't think it's wrong to... to bring up these issues and whatever, but... I do think it's wrong to force it upon people to say that we need to do something about it. Like, I think, you know, we should acknowledge history so it doesn't happen again. But at the same time, saying we need to pay for these things is ludicrous. And so going back... I think... Nike is garbage. Kaepernick is garbage. And so here's the next point I want to make is that the governor of California said that Nike did the right thing. Essentially, Nike did the right thing and has the heart of America, has, has the American values at heart. I can completely disagree with that. And this is California who is saying that no, we can't allow immigrants to be deported back to their countries because that's racist and bigotry. You know, California is sticking up for people who have to... Okay, so what California is saying is those who are already an established American citizen needs to pay for health care for an illegal immigrant who does not need to show any kind of documentation whatsoever to get this. Because in order for an American to get health care, they have to be able to prove that they're an American. Yet, we are trying to make it so that those who have no documentation, who are trying to, protect, who are essentially, you know, who knows what their situation was. It could have been, it could have been awful, terrible, whatever. Not whatever, but it could have been terrible. But at the same time, we don't know if they're just trying to get free crap because America's going to pay for it. So Nike did, and then there's uh, California governor also is essentially a dirt bag for saying that Nike is doing the right thing. And I think the other issue is that because Kaepernick was one of the first people to kneel during the national anthem, which is also disgusting that they are supporting him for this. <coughs> it, Nike essentially said, oh, you're going to kneel during the national anthem? Okay, we'll make you our spokesperson or our figure or whatever it is. To say, Black Lives Matter? Okay, what about police lives matter? Or 
Well, how about soldier lives matter, military lives matter? What about those people who are uh, sacrificing themselves every single day in wars and you know whatever else they're doing? Sacrificing their lives so you can play football and make millions of dollars. Well, they're probably not even earning fifty or sixty thousand. They're probably making close to thirty to forty thousand dollars a year, if that, if that. And they're suffering from all kinds of mental disorders. They're pushing themselves through. Only they know what they're doing. They're it, it's it's insane. Kaepernick sure has quite a lot of ideas for, I doubt he's even been through any kind of real oppression or discrimination to begin with, other than I can't get what I want when I want it, because that's racism. No, I don't know what his childhood was like, and really I don't care, because he really is a piece of trash that needs to be discriminated against so he knows what real oppression and what real discrimination is. Alright, well, <clears throat> I'm going to end it there. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.